Namaste, welcome to Tummy.com, a platform for yoga teachers and teachers in training where you will be able to plan your classes from a library of 3000 plus poses and also get inspiration from 300,000 plus sequences and 75,000 plus cues. This is our home page where you can log in and if you're new to our site, please try out our free month. This is the second part of the sequence. Previous video, we have completed the first peak pose which is Kakasana. Now we will go ahead with Bakasana, that is the crane pose. Let us begin with the first preparatory pose for Bakasana, which is Urdhva Uttanasana, which as I mentioned in the previous video, it works upon the lower back, hamstrings, and it is an important pose from which a student can enter into Bakasana. Hence, we have included it in our sequence. From here, students go into the jump through pose, which is usually a part of flow yoga. Students jump in the hair and hold it there for hardly few seconds after which they directly enter into Bakasana. This requires arm strength and a strong core which we have worked upon in our previous poses. But again, you can judge your students level and decide to add more arm and core strengthening poses if you feel that they need to still work upon their practice. In the process of going from jump through pose to bakasana, students might find it intensive. Also, they might not focus on their elbow alignment and shoulder alignment. Hence, taking it a step at a time will be advisable for beginners. From Urdhva Uttanasana, the knees rest on the armpit unlike in Kakasana. As the students come on their toes, with their gaze forward, lifting one foot then the other will help them get more stability. There is a good sync between the palms, the fingers, the arms, the core, the shoulders, students' gaze and their breath. In Bakasana, as you see, the arms are working and the core is engaged. To be able to hold the pose with ease and for a longer period of time, students have to work on sinking their mind, body and breath. As this pose is also not easy to achieve at the first go, we can try to look for variations that will have use of props to it. So let us see how we can build the confidence of the students. This is one of the ways to see the variations of the pose. You can google crane pose variations tummy. The first link as you see is ours and as I click on it, you will see the page open directly. Crane pose variations. As you see, you can add the use of yoga blocks that will help the students to distribute their weight between the arms and the blocks against the wall. Or to kickstart the practice of entering into Bakasana, this particular variation can be done. That way students from an added height can enter into the pose. The main point to keep here in mind is, analyze the students practice and try to add poses that will help them enter into the pose with ease. After this, students perform the insect pose, where the biceps, triceps, core muscles and quadriceps is actively working. Students are balancing on their arms and simultaneously opening their quadriceps. From Bakasana, students release the pose and do Kakasana with the feet interlocked, which is what insect pose is. This pose has been added to make it challenging for students. Plus the flow from Urdhva Uttanasana to jump through to Bakasana and insect pose is a part of the Ashtanga flow. After Urdhva Uttanasana, Uttan Prishtasana is performed to give a break to the students and to keep the flexibility and activeness in the students still intact. Another challenging pose has been added to this sequence, which is Ekapada Bakasana, where students rest one knee on the arm while the other is stretched out and up. Adding challenging poses is the decision of the teacher. They could do so if they have advanced level students with them and they are confident that the students will perform. Else, it is always advised to have poses that will only add to the motivation level of the students. After performing it on one side of the body, students enter into Uttan Prishtasana to activate the other side of the body. So, students can do Ekapada Bakasana easily on the other side as well. Now, if you see the lizard pose being a hip opener helps students for insect pose and Ekapada Bakasana as the hips are engaged here. So, it's an ascending practice. All the poses have added to the practice of the peak pose or to make it easy for advanced level students to do challenging poses. Now, the counter pose for the entire sequence is puppy dog pose with which students feel relaxed because though the arms, shoulders and the chest are stretched, 
it's a happy stretch after an intensive flow lastly students relax in shavasana giving full rest to all the muscles in conclusion we have identified the muscles that were engaged filtered yoga poses based on that from our yoga poses page also kept in mind that poses works on the minds of the students lastly we added variations or replace poses or added use of props based upon the level of students for example we included two challenging poses in our sequence like the insect pose and ekapada bakasana as teachers evaluate your class at the end of the class they need to feel that they are growing as yoga students and not feeling discouraged we would encourage you to create your own sequence for kakasana and bakasana and share it in the comment section below visit our site tummy.com to start creating your own sequence and use our library that has 3000 plus poses we will provide our feedback on the first 5 to 10 sequences and we hope other yoga teachers and yoga teachers in training can do peer review of the same please do give your valuable feedback drop in your queries and we will be happy to answer stay tuned for detailed description of various other peak poses subscribe to our channel to get automatic notification when new videos are added and we are so glad to have so many yoga teachers use our site and see them share their stories make us feel delighted we would like to share one so as mentioned please subscribe to our channel stay tuned for detailed description of various other peak poses and thank you